Hello, welcome back to Sarah Plays Valkia the Bloody in Immortal Empires. Valkia the Bloody. We have taken out Grom Brindle, so hooray for that. And we are about to maybe declare war on Silostra. So, there's that too. I'm given these places to my, Oh, that was zooming. I'm giving my my vassals these territories as I move along because I don't Business care about them. So Valky has settled that place, and then oh, there was something. Nope, never mind. I think I got myself confused because I was like, I needed to go south for something, but I think that was just to take out Grom Brindle. So now I want to say I'm in a good spot to just start attacking Silostra. We'll probably start with the Witchwood because that sounds like a good place to start. And over here, I've got gore stained robes, allegiance points, diplomatic, savage strategy. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Sword maiden. Oh, that's for aspiring champions, which I don't have any of. Giant manacles, gaze of the dark gods. Oh, this is for Chosen. I probably should do that because I do have a lot we of Chosen in, in my strength. army. Do you think if I put 2k into this, he'd give me more than 2k? Probably not. Knowing Malekith, probably not. Sword maiden of the blood God. So I do have a lot of money. I could do another army. I probably should, but I also don't really care to, so... I think I'm pretty happy with the gifts that I've got there. I think it's time to just buckle down and do battle. And like I said, I don't really know where this campaign ends. I don't really think we're going to get to the end game factions at all. Closest one is Pestilence. I don't think that's really going to... Your wretched flesh will suffer unthinkable torments. Oh, she wants a peace treaty. Oh, we already were at war with her. I forgot. Uh, yeah, so, I don't know. I don't know where we're going to end this one. Sometimes I've, like, if I'm enjoying playing a faction, which I'm enjoying playing Valkia, if we hit 75, I just keep going until I get bored or until things start to go really poorly for me, which I'm not at that point yet. Oh, why am I zooming? I have to push that button. Can I trade the Temple of Adioth? Yeah, see, so he's not going to give me money for it, so. There will always be blood. I think I've leveled up as much as I can. So, my army is Consort good to go. Carnets awakened. So at this point, it's just going to be, like, quick turns. But I know people do want me to move on to the next faction, which I think might be Marathi, because I've gotten a couple of requests for Marathi. So I'll be honest, I'm nervous with Marathi. I know she's super powerful and whatnot, but like I haven't had great luck with the Dark Elves in Immortal Empires. I've struggled. If you guys watched me play Crone Hellebron, I that was that was rough. Reforged for murder. Decisive victory with low casualties. Part of me wants to fight it because it looks fun. So let's do it. I feel like I should just keep fighting battles from here on out. They do have guns, which will probably hurt me a little bit. And the bats will be annoying, but I think that most of my units can take on fell bats without any issue. Like I don't, I don't have range. I don't care about range. So if I can just sweep Valkia in, 
Just have these guys rush him. Whoops. Lusting for slaughter. Lusting for slaughter. Army of the dark gods. And then everybody else has to wait their turn. Really annoys me that that regiment of renown is not with the rest of the grouping, but here we are. Oh, I forgot I had a fire sorcerer now. Hehe. <laughs> oh, who are you? Oh, the these guys. All right, so let's just kick this pig. Have you rushed the guns? Have you rushed the bombers? You rushed the guns over here. I'm not really concerned about the... Uh, the what's it? Zombie mobs. Harold Hammerstorm! You come up here and Valkia. Valkia, Valkia, Valkia. Should I have her go after like a gun unit? She probably should go after these felt bats, but. Devoted Legion of Killers! I do not ask you to I'll ever go after the pole I am arms. Telling you to fight. Oh my goodness. That damage. That was just unfair. Oh, that just went over my own army, even though I... The trajectory of that did not go the way that I had expected the trajectory to go. <laughs> They're crumbling, like, so hard. And that's only half my army, folks! Oh, I didn't even tell these guys to come in and play. I don't well, I guess these guys took a little bit of damage. Excellent, excellent. It's satisfying. Quite satisfying. Oh, and even better is because they're... They, uh... Didn't lose any models. They just lost health. They regen back or whatever. Somebody told me about that. With the chariot units. I think it's similar with the skull crushers. Poor Harold. Didn't get any kills. But yeah, that burning head... Maybe I did it wrong, but, like, it totally did not follow the trajectory that I had originally anticipated it would follow. Sack it. This aids the cause of war. I wish the Witchwood was a dark fortress. Valkyrie the bloody. Corn dominates here. There will always be blood. Yeah, it's pointless for me to keep this. Carnets awakened. Speak, the Witch King of Nagarond will hear your words. You know what, I'll give you a turn, Malekith, see if you can get me more money than that. Mistress of Skulls. Yeah. You can build it yourself, buddy. So if I were to go to Ice Rock Gorge... Okay. Down through there. Alright. Good to know, good to know. Sword Maiden of the Blood God. The Gore Queen! The Gore Queen!
There will always be blood. Good. I'm not going to throw commandment on there. I feel like Valkia would be one who would be quite easy to take over the whole world because she could just vassalize everybody. Rage. The rage of corn. Do you want Tretch? I've already said no peace! He's like the polar opposite of Valkia. Is He's like a coward and Valkia is like the opposite of a coward. She'd probably be super happy dying a glorious death. Because I feel like she would think in her mind, like, if she died, it's because she was weak, and weakness is not tolerated. Well, I hate to say this, Sigvald, but awakened. you're, you're going to be disappointed, because I'm just giving the Witchwood to Malekith. Really? You've got to give me more than that, Malekith. That's just ridiculous. Like, I know I'm giving you basically ruins, but still. Consort still. Of Come on, Malice. Let's fight. Madam I lost a dear fan. Oh, I need souls. I need to start raising these territories. Alright, I got the witchwood for him. That was a that's a big one. From here on out, I'm just gonna raise. I think. He can clean up the the ruins after I'm done. Oh no, it's Vincent Barnacle Beard of the great Barnacle Beard line. You can do nothing against me, Vincent. I am too powerful. Okay, Cataclysm of Greater Gate of Corn. Summons a Bloodthirster. 10,000 Marks of Glory. Gift of Choice. I'll just do this one, I guess. Holy souls. Reforged for murder. Spare none. Okay, raise it. Oh, I should have sacked it because the souls were Het woman. So dumb. I keep making mistakes. Yes. Yes. Excellent. Every action shall be calculated. Harold. I will give you some missile resistance. Sure. Short maiden of the blood god. The High Elves are still pretty powerful. I am curious how I would do up against the High Elves. Marathi is really powerful too. And it's probably because I don't have two armies. I just have Valkia's army. Who needs another army, am I right? Here's a question. Can Valkia confederate with Scarbrand? Like, I don't think so, but maybe. But no, because he's corn and she's a warrior of chaos. I, I don't know. Oh, Tanawin's dead. I don't know. Will always be blood. Decisive For victory. Corn. And, oh no, that's right. The other one I saw, I thought it was souls. It was not, it was money. So far away. Come on. It's awakened. All right, we're getting our souls back up there a little bit. I relish such power.
So I'm wondering if I should just like try to do something super crazy and like attack Tyrion or something and see how far I could get with attacking Tyrion. I will dismember you and hang your intestines from the nearest tree. Because otherwise, like, this is just going to be rinse and repeat, easy peasy, steamrolling over Silostra, so, I don't know. I feel like I need a challenge. Bringer of glory. Noctilus is still taking over Ulthwan a bit. Spill blood for Alright, maybe I'll take Vol's anvil. The of oblivion comes and for you. then. I'm gonna head to Althwan, I think. Just start raising all of Althwan. Raising it to the ground. of murder's host stands ready to annihilate your kind. But I'm not doing peace with her because that's just asinine. I'll leave her alone after Val's anvil, but I might be back. I think that Malekith is at war with her. I think he joined me when I declared war on her. Lord oh, he's not. Weird. The Gore Queen. So she'll probably be fine. Let's be honest. For the blood god. Corpses, ash, and rubble. Sword right, so they give me a little bit of a buffer. Uh, I have to go so far to get into the water. All right, I guess we're gonna just keep going up. <laughs> the because the only way I can get into the water is through one of these ports. Because you can't just like. You can't just plop your army in here. It's a cliff. Sweet, sweet Apparently. That's the logic, at least. You just can't jump right in there. There will always be blood. Karnith's awakened. Okay. The gods. I will try to fight more battles for you, though, because it is fun to watch. If I fight up, if I come up against one of her armies or Silosha herself, that could be fun. Reforged for murder. Okay, a couple more turns, I get to Venom Blade, which is not going to be a big deal. I thought it was a big so settlement, but it's not. It is not. Oh, look, Malekith's already cleaning, cleaning up after me. All right. What else do I got here? Chain fees. I don't have any of those. Demonic Pact. Malignant Totems. Chaos Corruption, maybe. Calling of the Weak. Souls gained from battles. Okay. Okay. We exult in this strength. I don't read all of the text on these things, as you can tell. Oh, there's Charlie Keys. Did he just take a settlement? Oh, they've been flirting with Slanesh. Don't be a fool. Well, I guess we'll have to there go up north too. May as well. If I'm gonna take out Silostra, I may as well take out Silostra. Actually, let's fight this without even looking at what the map looks like. I 
Should I close my eyes here so I can't see it? I want to be completely surprised. Watch it. Is this a settlement battle? Oh my goodness. I'm going to be really mad if this is a settlement battle. Not that it's going to be a big deal because I just brush in and whatever, but like I said, I hate settlement battles, so. They do have mortars in this army, so watch out. Those mortars will get me. This is one of those things where I feel like with my eyes closed, it takes forever to load. Okay, here we go. It is a settlement battle. Oh my gosh. What is this? Oh my word. What is the setup? Get all the, nope, not you guys. All right, well, let's just see what we can do here. So, this I have to take these places first or something. Should place them differently. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, this is a nightmare. I'll just have Valkia come wherever these guys, wherever the enemies show up. Execute! Followers of chaos! With relish! Glorious slaughter! They're shooting me! Chomp, 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 chomp. Chosen of court! Glorious mutilation! Reap skulls! So where would that tower be controlled from? Is it up here? Exalted hero of God. Oh, we're getting hit by mortars! This is why I hate settlement battles. Take out these mortars. Valkia, come on. Slice. Valkia Slice and dice. To the slaughter. Future faction on them. If I have him land, can I take this territory? Do I need to have these guys here? Where are 
Alright, they're dying. Oh, I guess I just won. <laughs> really don't like settlement battles at all. Not a fan. I lost one guy. That's sad. Who would it be? Who would be my one guy? One of these guys? Doesn't look like they lost anybody, but must be. Burn it with holy fire or unholy fire, I should say. Charlie's coming and Elle's coming. She's got Robert Bartholomew. Select replace. Oh, yeah. Units. Soul grinder. Nah. Blood greed is pretty good. What are my gifts currently in use? Oh, the skull cannon. Remove that and I will add this. Oh, shoot. I already had that. I messed up. I don't know what I did. I messed up Mistress something. Whoopsie. There will always be blood. So I guess we'll go with indomitable. Reforged for murder. Excellent. Excellent. You will die weeping like the sniveling coward you are. She doesn't like me. I don't know why. Oh, because of Silostra, I forgot. I mean, she can declare war on me and go to war against with her son. That would be actually kind of funny. He probably would die, though. He would probably need my assistance. In which case, I would end up going to war with Marathi instead of the High Elves. The Gore Queen! Okay, this is going to be fun. Let's go after Charlie Keys. So it says close victory with medium casualties. And it's probably a settlement battle. It is darn it. Or is this a siege battle? Might be a siege battle. Well... We'll see. Maybe I'll end up fighting this. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe I'll end up fighting this. But I'm going to leave it off here because I'm just about at my time. So maybe I should stretch myself and try to fight this battle and see how things go. I don't imagine it'll be all that bad, but the towers do get annoying. So if I can be strategic and take... Oh, no, it is settlement because they've got open. It's not walled. Yeah, so if I can take the... Like, divide and conquer take the supply points and cut off their towers, then we'll be fine, but it'll be interesting since they have a full army here as well, so. Anyway, I hope you guys are still enjoying this playthrough of Valkyrie the Bloody, and I hope that you will come back and see me in the next one.